testing, testing, testing. Oh my God. Crazy, man. Dude, non-gender specific person. I am all funny business. This is uh, a review slash reviews of the two new Brockhampton albums, The Family and TM. Now, in my opinion, Brockhampton is kind of closing the book on this illustrious chapter of their career with two of their most inconsistent records. I'm going to start with The Family. This basically runs like a glorified Kevin Abstract solo project. And while it's certainly not without its handful of highlights, it's marred by its lack of focus or care for album construction. Now, in terms of positives, the Kanye-esque chipmunk soul of the opener Take It Back as an immediate highlight and a promising entrance. RZA continues the Westian energy with lush pitched gospel harmonies and an apology towards his mother. Big Pussy, the lead single to this record, churns its way through a groaning bass line, chunky drums and really pointed lyricism. It's a cartoonish, admirably ragtag piece of hardcore hip hop. 37th tones things down for a plain as day confessional track. Glimmering guitar and bare drum leave a path for Kevin to sort of admit the duality of being at the forefront of this Brockhampton project. The closing track Brockhampton is a tear-jerking goodbye to a very turbulent yet fruitful several years for the band. Kevin acknowledges everyone's respective talents and also notes the silver lining of potentially successful solo careers. In between, we are subjected to a series of very brief vignettes that range from being pleasant while they're on to just being downright confusing and annoying. For instance, Any Way You Want Me takes Frankie Valley style arrangements and puts a really mediocre vocal performance on top of it. The uncomplimentary messy shots of guitar and sparse beat on Back From The Road would be cause to cringe on their own. Add in a set of very sloppily processed vocals and you have a total fail on all fronts. My American Life sounds like a Tom Petty demo from his Wildflowers era if all of a sudden he found out he really had a liking for obnoxious vocal pitching. Otherwise, this thing is just merely fine. It is obviously not meant to be the main attraction, just some filler to fulfill a record deal. That's all well and good, but the main attraction is not much better. In fact, it's no better at all. TM is the official final group release. It is a trim 11 tracks, 37 minutes, and could not sound more like a bunch of ginger rejects if it tried. The opener FMG is a menacing trap cut packed with all sorts of glitchy noise, genuinely creative cut reminiscent of a song like Je Veux of uh, Iridescence. I can't get enough of the nimble pop rap of New Shoes, speedy sharp verses and a sweet little Jabari hook, trunk rattling 808s and snappy percussion complement the performances. It's a good song. Man on the Moon and Crucify Me deviate the most from the general aesthetic of this project. Two positive results. The former being a super kinetic piece of dance pop laced with juicy keys and wailing leads. Genuinely fun tune. And the latter cut mentioned is a loungy piece of piano pop topped off with a discordant slam of drums and keys. I enjoy these two tracks quite a bit. I can't say the same for the rest of the record though, which is barely even worth talking about to be perfectly honest with you. The phoned in goodbye, the grating hook during Listerine, the half-hearted alternative R&B of Animal, the parody of Brockhampton sound that is duct tape and always something, the brevity of Keep It Southern, the carbon copy balladry of better things. It's highly upsetting that such a switched on group could close the deal with such an inconsistent blob of tracks. No, these albums aren't terrible. That much is certain. Yes, these albums see the group severely punching under their weight. That much is certain. Save for some spare positives that feel like an absolute oasis, uh, these records left me feeling like this rollout was just some sick social experiment. A fully fleshed out send off is just coming right around the corner if I just believe, if I just cross my fingers. But alas, it is not to be. This is what will be most fresh in the minds of Brockhampton fans in remembering their legacy. That's a shame. Two mostly cobbled together records that see the band as shells of their former selves. Perhaps the disbandment is something to be glad about. I said it. I'm giving the family, this, this one, a 5.9 out of 10, and I'm gracing TM with a 5.2 out of 10. <sighs> what a shame, because I think the saturation projects are like really some of the best collections of like kind of hip hop, 
alternative R&B, indie, pop, whatever the hell you want to call it. Of like the last that last decade. Ginger is like everything they wanted to say on Iridescence, but it's just like refined, it's focused, it's a consistent sonically. It's a really beautiful record. Roadrunner is even more mature. It, it is, if, we, if, if you liked saturation, Roadrunner is maturation. It's colorful, it kind of brings back that youthful spirit, but it, in a more controlled way. Like I said, not so ragtag. This, this was, uh, this, this sucked. <laughs> this kind of sucked to, to listen to considering like how much of their discography up until this point I have loved. But like I say, I am excited to maybe hear some, uh, some solo projects in the future. I think that there is real potential for, for that to light switch. I think there's real potential for that to, uh, eventuate into something really exciting, really crazy and, uh, forward thinking cutting edge maybe yeah if you enjoyed <laughs> hearing my world fall apart about this group make sure that you uh tell me about it tell me about it like and subscribe actually just subscribe i don't even care if you if you like or not just subscribe it would be an absolute tragedy if you didn't subscribe to my channel keep having mic issues and i keep having to pull this thing out i want to ditch this thing at some point but i i can't because uh, nah. <laughs> This is a certified Dan Will classic. You know, I could have like, you know, a Radiohead song playing while the credits roll, just for the laugh. I'm a creep, I'm a, I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here, I'm a creep. <laughs>